Hello and welcome to Sky News. My name is Sid and I'm joined here today with my co-reporter, Luca. Yes, my name is Luca. Today we are reporting about a very important topic, which is influencer culture. So, it has been proven that teenagers tend to adhere to what they see online. Teenagers are easily influenced towards influencers such as KSI, FusiTube, and Human. Indeed, that's true. And also, a very interesting fact is that 80% Six percent of women use social media for marketing advice. Thank you, Luca, for that very informative information. Now, handing over to Alex for more information on influencer culture. In today's news, we are going to discuss influencer culture and the impact it has. The impact influencers can have should not be ignored. In the past year, 72% of the population say that trust in influencers has increased, while 66% say that the purchase decisions are often driven by influencers. Interestingly, social media influencers usually look perfect and appealing to teenagers and youngsters. As well as this, they keep posting about body shape, luxurious lifestyles, partying, things that basically just attract teenagers and the youth. One of the biggest advantages of being an influencer is that you get to collaborate with some awesome brands. However, you need to work towards this dream and this can take a long time. Anyway, back to the studio with Sid and Luca. That was some very interesting news, Alex. Next up, we have our reporter Tisha in Hyde Park. Then finally, we're heading back to the studio where Lloyd will present. Previa Tisha. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again tomorrow. Goodbye. Thanks, Sid and Luca. I'm Tisha. I'm going to be your reporter for today. I'm in Hyde Park and interviewing Speed and Tom, who is 17, and we're going to be talking about the positive and negative effects of influencer culture. So, what are the positivities of being an influencer to the general public? It's cool that people can support and follow our daily lives and uh, we can inspire people. I can also use my platform to raise awareness of issues I'm passionate about and I would never get the opportunity to get my voice heard if it wasn't for social media. I don't think there are really any positives, however it's easily accessible entertainment and potentially an easy way of making money. It could also help find an, a like-minded community online. What are the negative of influencing? It can be a toxic place um, and people can comment anything they like, so it can upset creators. You also need to be very careful of what you say and post because it will stay there forever. I think that is a dangerous influence on anyone because it influences opinions, meaning that people can't generate their own opinions online. Therefore, we are not sure what's true or false on the internet. Thank you everyone for your time. Now handing over to Lloyd Bank in the studio. Thank you, Tatisha. Afternoon and welcome back to Sky News. My name is Lloyd and today we are discussing influencer culture in the UK today. I have been lucky enough to have two experts in the studio with me. Please, could you introduce yourselves? Hello, my name is Rafi and I'm from London. I am the CEO of TikTok and I'm here today to address the problems people have been having with my app. Thank you for that, Rafi. <coughs> and over to you, Digby. Good afternoon. My name is Digby and I'm an influencer who has experienced online harassment through TikTok and other social media platforms. Thank you for that, Digby. My first question is for you, Rafi. What do you have to say to people like Digby who have experienced online harassment on platforms such as TikTok? I would like to address the situation of online harassment me and my team, my management team, have been working very hard to ban people who have done hate speech, harassment, racism all over our app. Thanks, Rafi. So, Digby, could you start and tell us about your story and what happened on TikTok and other platforms? I started making uh, content a couple years back and I started by downloading TikTok, thinking it would be a safe place. Uh, it was nice at first, but then I gathered more viewers, which then created more haters. Recently, I found out that there are horrible people on your platform uh, sharing negative views and hateful messages. I found out that around 37% of young people between the ages of 12 and 17 have been bullied online. Thank you very much, Digby. My next question for Rafi is what actions are you taking to battle this hate on your platform? People using TikTok are easily able to report harassment or bullying on the app. Our moderation team can review the report and take appropriate actions of it violating our community guidelines. Thank you, Rafi. So, my next question for Digby is how have you overcome the hate you received online? At first it was a tough experience uh, because of the amount of negative messages I was receiving but I've been able to uh, turn into a negative to turn a positive 
uh, and overcome cyberbullying and now inspire young people online to be creative and true to themselves. Thank you, Digby. We are glad to hear it. Unfortunately, we have run out of time here today in the studios. Thank you both for joining us and sharing your opinions. We'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.